What's this? A new first person shooter real time strategy hybrid? In the modern day? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Silica, a styling of game I never expected to see again, especially to this degree. A rather ambitious blend of base building focused RTS and first and third person shooter styled combat on a scale that even the most recent Battlefield doesn't quite reach. I mean this in the literal sense. The maps are huge and can take quite some time to traverse for better or worse. As shown on Steam, Silica is being published by Bohemia Interactive. Fans of the Armour franchise and DayZ will be familiar with the name, and whilst we're on the topic of them, the developers for Silica are making use of the Bohemia Incubator service, which launched back in 2016 and essentially helps give the devs the tools and funding to create and publish their games. Smaller game studios and designers normally have all the heart when it comes to trying new things with games, but the funding and means aren't always readily available. The incubator service that Bohemia are running remedies that fact. Now moving on to the theme, the theme and genre for this game is arguably among the hardest, if not the hardest, to get right. You're essentially balancing and crafting two polar opposite styles of gameplay. For instance, the shooter aspect of the game needs to be fun responsive and fruitful. You need to feel like you're making a difference as a player soldier in the army, otherwise you become no better than the AI. But this also leads to a dilemma on the flip side of things. When you're playing as the commander in the RTS hot seat, you want the ability to order your troops around and have them carry some level of combat proficiency, some reliability to get the job done. You don't want the human opponents to be like Master Chief or Doom Guy but you equally don't want the AI to be unstoppable terminators completely overshadowing their human counterparts. This is where the ambition of games and genres like this have struggled in the past. I can immediately say that unfortunately, right now, Silica is one of those games. More so on the side of the player, however, in the FPS hot seat, humans are far more effective in vehicular roles and pretty much everything else as of right now, even when it comes to harvesting the main resource in the harvesters. And yes, you can drive them. Every vehicle you see, you can drive them. Now, don't get me wrong. The AI can be extremely accurate. They can annihilate you instantly. However, the AI is obviously not intelligent like a human is. It doesn't think outside of the box. The AI's range and usefulness is quite limited, whereas when it comes to players, if they can see the enemy, they'll start shooting at them. Just naturally they will. You'll especially notice this in siege tanks, for example. Human players can take advantage of the massive range and line of sight, whereas the AI will have to get closer and undoubtedly end up in the line of fire because of this. If you have a competent player in a tank or playing as one of the better infantry units, they can make that unit four, five, or even six times more useful than normal, or even far beyond that number. This game is of course in early access, so no surprise the game isn't perfect. So we have to keep that in mind when looking at this game. As a kid, I used to play Command and Conquer, Shogun Total War, and Rise of Nations with my dad. I dreamed of being able to take control of a unit in the action as it was happening, go into first person or third person mode, and absolutely go at it. Command and Conquer Renegade was the closest I got to experiencing something like this, but it wasn't the same. It essentially took the RTS theme and turned it into first person shooter. So there was no base building, there was no commander controlling anything. You just got to play as the very units you used to control as the commander which was a reasonable way of bridging the gap back in the day. This right here, right now, is on a whole different scale. And truthfully, 15 to 20 years ago, I dreamed of a game that would take up this mantle. So I'll be paying close attention to developments and updates that are brought to this game. That is for sure. Now, let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. If you opt for the boots on the ground side of things, you immediately start out as a standard infantry unit. You don't get to take control of any and all units at any time during the battle, which I personally think would be awesome. Instead, you just spawn in as a standard infantry unit. Take yourself to the barracks to upgrade to a specialized infantry class if you want to, or take control of any vehicle you see and drive it for yourself. Once again, yes, that even means the harvester. If you feel like farming some crystals for your team, 
you will immediately be far more efficient in the harvester than the AI ever could be. Essentially, the AI wishes it was as good as you when it comes to harvesting crystals. The crystals, of course, are your faction's lifeblood for literally everything, whether that's building buildings, constructing vehicles, or even choosing what infantry unit you want to play as. Infantry combat is extremely simple, though, and that is a drawback, in my opinion. Shots don't go exactly where you're aiming. It instead seems to be a cone of fire styling similar to what classic Halo games is probably the closest comparison. Bullet physics in the sense of travel time seems to be there as well. Bullet velocity seems quite low, so leading your shots was a common task for me. Honestly though, I can't say I engaged in very much infantry combat outside of shooting the alien crabs, which were quite comedic yet terrifying at the same time. It's, it's, it's interesting, you'll have to experience it for yourself to understand. I noticed a few times that gunfight in the infantry mode against the AI is always an instant loss. At least if you're in the open against two or more. But if you find yourself in relative CQB with cover to make use of and areas to break line of sight, you'll easily mow everyone down like his COD campaign on recruit difficulty. Or CNC on recruit if you're a distinguished gamer like myself. Yes, I mean old. I'm 26 this year and my collection of games is starting to show that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, fine. At this point, you've probably noticed I haven't spoken about the aliens at all. There is a good reason for that. I haven't actually played them. I've played against them and I've seen what they have to offer. But personally, I'm more of a fan of conventional warfare with tanks, infantry, explosions, you name it. So I stuck with the human side. That's not to say that the alien side isn't fun and doesn't have their own set of quirks. It just isn't for me personally. Hence, we are focusing on the human side. The aliens do have interesting designs and they remind me a fair bit of Starship Troopers here and there. But as I'm playing as the humans, I'm doing my part to make sure that the aliens don't win. To further develop on infantry units, uh, the infantry selection currently suffers from basic bland kits as of right now, which generally leads to one dimensional gameplay. This may well be subject to change, but as of right now, you have no grenades, utility or anything like that. It's just you and your primary weapon. No med kits or any other upgrades that you can pick from. You literally just have the classes you choose from and the weapon it gives you. Personally, I'd definitely like to see more options or viable upgrades and loadouts for infantry to acquire. This will further bolster their effectiveness and lead to more entertaining varied gameplay. I mean, imagine kitting out the commando for infiltrating behind enemy lines and wreaking havoc with some C4. Maybe even do it left-handed whilst you're at it. That was left-handed. The vehicles have clearly been the main focus by the production team and I don't blame them at all. There's an interesting variety of vehicles to choose from with traditional dune buggies and rolling tanks or APCs. And on the flip side of things, we have future tech styled hover tanks with rail guns and siege tanks that float around menacingly whilst having a payload that drops the base similar to one of Skrillex's finest pieces of music. As you progress up the tech tree, the vehicles naturally get heavier, slower, and lose their maneuverability, but instead you gain access to force multipliers that even Doom Guy would happily tear away to add to his collection. A quick short assessment of the RTS elements. There's currently no major hotkeys or anything to make use of for ease of access, and producing units and structures is based off of individual production structures, and not a hotbar or anything like that like CNC. Meaning right now you have to scroll around the map around your base, clicking on individual structures and queuing the units yourself. As opposed to being able to hotkey group all production structures of a type into one group, click that and easily sort through them all getting the production going. I imagine this is on the list of things that they're going to be implementing in the future. This is pretty standard practice for RTS games. A plus side is that harvesters deposit resources very quickly, but you equally need to make use of them quickly or risk falling behind. And this is where right now it's a struggle without the access to the hotkeys. There's also no audio cues for building construction or completion yet, and no audio cues for resources being deposited, and funnily enough, no audio cues for units being produced. But all that aside, there's a lot of fun to be had with this game, and hey, you can really zoom in and get some awesome camera angles of the battle as it takes place. Now, lastly, a quick note on the performance of the game. I'm running an 11900K with a 3080 Ti, and even with everything tuned the way it should be, I'll still be sitting at 60 FPS or even below 30 FPS in heated battle. 
The more players there are on a server, the laggier it gets. The developers have said that working on performance is on the list of things they want to get right. So they are already aware and want to make this work. And lastly, before we move on to a lightly edited full game, on Steam you can see the vision for the early access that the game has. How long it'll be in early access, why it's in early access, all that lovely stuff. So around about this time next year, the game should be ready for full release. We shall see if that is the case. They are also aiming to get early feedback from players to polish their game and make it into a better product, which I think is a perfect idea, as at the end of the day, the players are going to be the ones buying the game, and if they don't enjoy it, the wallet will reflect that and they'll take their money elsewhere. This is certainly a game that I'm hyped to see improve as the days go on. Thank you very much for listening. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this game, if any at all. Are you guys going to be giving it a try, or are you just going to be following it for now? And without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay section. So I'm doing a little bit of exploring. If you press left alt, you can look around free look like you can in armor. That's pretty cool. I like that already. Not enough FPS games have this feature. Definitely underutilized. Something we should hopefully see more in the future. Oh, shit, I didn't want to play as aliens. No, let me change. Let me change. Second there. Right, 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 right. What have you done? Yeah, now it's actually showing an outline around the bunkers. That's good. Oh, there's the enemy base. Uh, in that case, I probably don't want to get too close. That's completely safe there. I kind of want to try and get a... Oh, yeah, he's going to that. I might double down with early wrath. that a try. We captured that yet? Looks like it. Uh, we didn't start building a research facility, did we? Oh, we can't afford it. Oh, maybe I've messed up doing that then? Wait, that's not captured. Oh, alien spotted. Why do I have perfect view of the enemy base? Or talking about what game you and I could play and I've always said, hey, League of Legends exists. You've always said no and then all of a sudden you're playing League again. <laughs> to be fair, I only play ARAMs. I don't take the game seriously. How can you? That might be trouble. Moab, hell yeah. Good choice of emotes, friend. Bayram. Oh shit. Oh wait, that's no, a crap. Run. Run. No, he's Giga Chad, never mind. Might be worth moving my uh, light support up that way. Right, have we captured you yet? Not really one I can look at. Oh my god, we got a lot of money. That's bad. That's very bad because it means that I'm not doing my job. Dude just keeps running. Oh no. There's two of them. Alright, okay, we run this way then. I run that way? Oh, you're supposed to run. I wish you could take control of units whenever you wanted to. There was a goblin game I used to play many years ago on the Xbox that allowed you to do something like that. I think it was goblins anyway, or orcs. But the, the orcs were different. Uh, you had like different elements that they were strong in. Oh. You gotta run, my brother. Does my other light quad? Oh, hello. I'm getting double teamed by the AI. Right, you know what time it is.
Lucky. <laughs> a vehicle, 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 vehicle. Out there. He's driving away. Oh, the map is dark and full of terrors. Hey, yo, vehicle. You friendly? Yeah. Wait, what? They're driving away! Can you get run over by your own vehicles? Oh, gosh. Yo! He dead. This is rapid! Hey Dando, this is how fast Jamie thinks his mini is. Or wishes. One of the two. Oh! That tiny ass rock hurt my vehicle. We can get in a gunfight over here. Okay, I'm really enjoying this game today. Oh no. Oh no. Wish I could aim in. They went up the rock. Tiniest of debris is just annihilating me. All right, let's get back to uh, Commander, see what's happening. Oh, you're asking to lose that. We want to regroup. Where are you going? What is going on? Oh dear. Getting money. Uh, where's the research center? There it is. I'm back. Got some units flanking us. Uh, heavy quad, get you over here. Actually. Oh. 
Where are you going? Side run right there. What's he doing? See if we can get him up there. They're getting attacked? No. In that case, we'll get some heavies out on the front. Commando as well could be good. Build one of these. Crab's looking to fight the other AI now. Alright, they're getting shot at from... What the hell is that? We won that? Oh, it was a trade. Even so. Damn, that bunker's got some range. Kill him. Where teleporter? Oof. Time to go and deal some damage. No. What? Well, one HP already. Well, they got a tank coming. Oh, there it is. Go and commandeer one of the tanks that are driving off to the north, uh, to the east, and then bring it back. Yeah, 
it's an early access, so I can't imagine there's that many people playing it just yet. But I've been playing offline against the AI, having the most fun here, personally. Something going on over here that's not ours. Did I get him? I think I did. Excuse me, we got a tank flanking. <laughs> Scratch one more. No, my friendly tank's driving straight into it. What? What just happened there? I oh, was that low? Or did I get shot by a friendly? <laughs> you might want to drive away from there. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Sweet. Wait, that scorpion is taking no damage from my gun. Okay, there we go. I want above it. Still not dead. Yeah, that just insta killed it. Big hit. <laughs> that was a direct hit. As was that. Ah, oh, elevation change. Boom. <laughs> Annihilated. Is it bugged out? Line of sight. It seems like it has. Oh. Oh well, it's like we're playing as uh, infantry from now on. No, uh, uh. Good shot. Jesus Christ, the AI is very accurate. Running me down. One more hit. Damn. Boom. Nope. Surely that was it, yeah. What's happening over on the other side of the map?
get the hover tank into a strategic strategic position. What the hell have you done? Want something done, do it yourself. How do you get in the What? Stop kicking me out, please. Every time it starts climbing, it jumps back. Yeah, look at me go. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> huh? That's not the driver's seat. Uh... I have to keep going up. <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. It's okay guys, I'm forklift certified. Oh. Please don't drive into me. Looks full. Yeah, there we go. No, he's gonna drive into me. Oh, I don't know if I. No, 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 no. That's, that's not enough swing. Now. Oh. Oh, I, I just ran over a friendly unit. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Good heavens. Gotta give respect and credit where credit is due. These, uh, no wonder the AI is struggling driving the harvesters. What do I do now? I just wait. Ah, sweet. One human harvest is better than four AI or equivalent to four AI. <laughs> Makes sense. How does the AI get so many units out in the field though? Look at that. I swear they get more money than we do. I mean, in all fairness, I did have one tank holding off the entire bug armada on my own, allowing the AI to do whatever the fuck you wanted. Uh, no, this isn't PVP right now. Looks like driving forwards faster, but. I called dibs. Oh no. Uh oh. <gasps> and here we have the wild harvester in its natural habitat stuck in the refinery. Get to the teleporter. What's the rocket launcher like? No idea. Not a clue. Oh, crash. Well, that was uh, intriguing.
So from what I can tell, you want to take control of a harvester immediately from the beginning of the game to get the first harvested load in, then swap back. Hey there, thank you very much for watching. It's time to give a shout out to all of my YouTube channel members. We've seen a lot of new faces this month. We're at 39 members now, and I'd just like to give an extra special shout out to NRTX Dragon at the God Mode tier. Once again, thank you all, and if you guys do want to become a channel member to support the channel, you can find it around about the middle of the description down below. See you later.